Shishian wins in the quarterfinals over PV Sindhu and then against Akana Yamaguchi. It's been uh, victories over Japanese players. Complicated ones, you have to say, in three games over Yashimoto of Japan and her compatriot Okuhara in yesterday's semi final for the Olympic champion Li Shuei. Should be a, an excellent final, this. A really tough one to call. Was, it was quite clear who was the uh, favorite in that opening final. Not so uh, evident in this one. Officials making their way out onto the court. I have to say, really good atmosphere. Bear in mind, there was no Germans at all in the semi-finals. Never mind today's finals, it's been packed here. It's a very popular sport in Germany. And uh, well, again, you see two former world number ones here in action, Li Shuei and Wang Shishian. Of course, 2016, a big year for these players. It's Olympic year. Sure. The uh, world number three. Uh, the Babbitton legend really have to put it down as obviously Olympic champion. Lost a couple of times in uh, world finals. Up against Wang Shishian who really wants to put some wrongs right in 2016 obviously. She has the determination to try and play in those Olympics while well, her opponent here, Lee, was uh, often winning gold in London. Wang Shishian was having to watch on television. She was no world number three when uh, it was decided she would not be going to the Games. It really must have hurt. Rank number six in the world right now. A player who uh, burst onto the scene. Won her first international tournament, the Babbitton Asia Championships in 2010. Asian Games gold in 2010, rather, and well, she rose to prominence really quickly. And well, she's looking to get back to the top of the game. As you can see, Akana Yamaguchi, the player she beat yesterday, very impressive performance. Three games. She beat PV Sindhu the day before that. Victories over Olga Konan and Linda Wenifinetri as well. Looking for a first win in 17 months. Uh, not one since the French Open back in October. Whereas for Li Shuwei, a couple of titles in 2015. One in China, one in Denmark. Ranked third in the world the player of 2012, not just that Olympic gold. That was one of eight titles she won, including the uh, Super Series Finals as well at the end of the year. And uh, of course, in a run where she went 30 matches unbeaten between February and June 2012, she bagged five titles, including this one, the German Open. This is her route so far. You can see against those Japanese opponents, Kurahara and uh, Hashimoto, wasn't uh, the most straightforward, lost the opening game in the semi-final yesterday, Okahara, but she came back very impressively in the next two, lost the middle game there to Hashimoto, took an hour to see off her in the quarterfinals, Busanan, the players she beat in the last 16. They have met a number of times, this is meeting number 13, six wins apiece. Nisha Wei's won the last two, one had won the previous four. And interestingly, this is the sixth final that they've met in. Incredible, really. And Wang Shishian has won the last three after Lee had won the previous two. There's Alexander Hoya, who is our umpire. 
Just waiting for him to uh, make the announcement. Nish away already on court, ready, waiting. And last minute stretches for Wang Shishian. Of course, these two know each other so well, whether in training. Their last meeting was at the China Open. They sure way winning that one, 21-14, 21-5, which was, well, surprisingly one-sided. On my right, Wang Shixiang, China. And on my left, Li Shiru, China. Li Shiru to serve, level, play. Well, an old Chinese affair in the women's singles final. The Olympic champion, Li Shuwei, up against uh, Wang Shishia, who is uh, looking to try and find her first victory in over a year. That's a, a wonderful placement and a very confident start, you have to say, from Lee Shuwei. picture right now Alicia Wei down at number six in the race the Rio rankings Wang Yi Han and Wang Shishian above her at two and three respectively it's gonna go right the way to the wire you feel don't you 
So these matches over, take on five, even more three. importance, not just trying to win a, another event, but trying to get yourself in position to go to Rio. Of course, in the end, Li Yongbo could make a decision for them as the head of affairs in Chinese badminton. terms of all the disciplines, I know it's uh, tied everywhere, but this is the one that probably is as wide open in, out of the five, really, women's singles. Seven, three. Well, she's established a, a good lead here, hasn't she, Lee? Of course, very early stages still. And uh, what she won't want to do here, Wang, is give away these, these cheap points. Found the mark. That's more like it. Really good angle Four, she got on that eight. one. Amazingly tight net shot there. Game off for Wang. Yeah, it's very quiet on court. Crowd very respectful. Seven Obviously, uh, applauding should be nine. Not a six. Good hearing there of the uh, Lee yell. The thing to notice from these opening 16 points is how few errors there's been so far from Lee. And some really good winners from Wang, but... Now let's give it in. Thank you. 11-6, in the ball. Well, Wang Shishian obviously felt that was out, and she's was hoping for an overall there, but it wasn't coming. And as you can see, it's a very good lead at the interval, early stages. But Li Shuwei stamping her influence already on this women's singles final. 11-6, the advantage.
20 seconds. 20 seconds. Eleven six. Play. Well, when Lee uh, Shuei won Olympic gold, of course, in 2012, prior to that, one of her titles was in this very arena, winning the German Open, beat Juliana Schenk in the final. She'll be hoping for history to repeat itself, won't she? Win this title on her way to winning gold again, but that's better from Wang. Seven, over. Seven 11. First tournament, Lee, since uh, losing in the first round of Hong Kong. She lost to Okahura, who, of course, she beat yesterday. She also lost, surprisingly, in the uh, World Championships in the last 16 to, to PV Sindhu, who, again, she beat on her way to the final this week. That was in the quarterfinal. That's wide. 13. Seven. Dominant. It's been dominant so far. Seven. I wouldn't quite say it's faultless, but it's it's not far off it, is it? Wang Shishian has to try and find some answers here. Of course, we're still only in the first game. Long way to go yet, but... Uh, can she force her opponent into errors? Well, there's one. Seven over eight, 14. Nine, fourteen. The gap still five. That's uh, a little short. And well, one by one. Ten. 14. Well, the run of points from Wang. Interestingly there, Lee, asking for a little towel down by the umpire who denied her. This is a nice little run being put together by Wang. 11, 14. She has been forcing her opponent into some mistakes. Another example, that's five timely points in a row. 12, 14. And a one-sided first game has just tightened up a little now. Oh, that's a pity for it to end like that. 
go. Yeah, the winner was there for the taking, but uh, she didn't come that close, really. Over 13-15. She made it to two finals in 2015, lost them both. Australian Open, French Open. Lost to certain Carolina Marin on both those occasions. Lost to the Spaniard as well on her way. Marin, that is, to winning the World Championships again. Something over 16, 13. Seventeen, thirteen. Well, she gave herself too much to do, really, in this uh, game. Despite that five points in a row for Wunk, always going to be an uphill task from 14-7 down. And that's just wide from her. 18, and now the gap is widened again. over 14-18. Good return, wasn't it, from Wunk? over 19-14. Well, I mean, it's a winner, and uh, I have to say that's beautifully played point from point. The Shuei that brings up these six game points. No one felt that may have been out, but it was given in. Six game points. Oh, ho, ho, and that's a delightful winner to take the opening game from Li Shuei. 21 points to 14. First game won by Lishiru, 21-14. 21-14 then. Fairly comprehensive display from Lee. Little run in the middle of the game from Wang, but uh, at the moment it's the Olympic champion on top.
Well, it's been a, an excellent performance from Li Shuwei. Wang Shishian really has to step it up in this second game, try and find the kind of badminton that... 20 seconds, 20 seconds. Forced uh, Lee into those mistakes when she went on that five-point run. Second game, love all, play. Just wide from Lee. Serves over, one love. Serves over, one all. Fist pump from Lee there. Two, she knows one. this is a, could be a very important victory. And it would tighten up the Chinese race for Olympic qualification, wouldn't it? Didn't come off. For Wang again. Three, one. Oh, oh. Well played. And she is uh, almost stepping it up, isn't she, a little bit in this second game? Four, one. Perfectly over the net. Oh, nearly dropped in. Steps over. Two, four. Three, four. Four, all. She's uh, Five, well, neither celebrating nor apologising for that point there, Wang Shishian. And it's stunning it perfectly. <laughs> yeah, emphatic response from Lee. Serves over. Five. All. Seven, five. Well, she's won so many titles. Wang Shishian, Asian Games, three Super Series, Premier Seven Super Series titles. Of course, other wins as well along the way, but when you've uh, gone this long, 
when you're that kind of caliber player without a victory. 17 months, chance to put it right here. Oh, not sure. Uh, she didn't get a little bit of a miss hit on that one off the frame of the racket, but turned into a great winner. Six, seven. Oh, well done. Classy. Seven over. Eight. Six. Work the shot around really well and then produce that win it right into the corner. Just out. Six. Well, the last time they met was uh, at the China Open in November. Ten. And uh, six. Leisha Wei, as she did here. Took the opening game 21-14. The second was a painful memory for Wang Shishianis. He took it 21 points to five. It's not quite as one-sided here. But 10-6 is a good second game lead right now for Lee. And make that 11-6 at the interval again, as it was in game number one. And uh, you have to say, cruising to the title right now, Lee Shue. Five point gap to go with that one game advantage. Yeah, hard to see what uh, Wang is going to do to stop this uh, Lee Juggernaut. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Nothing so far <laughs> in the two finals for the crowd to get sucked in by. 11 6, play. Been some impressive badminton nonetheless. Seven over. Seven, 11. Over twelve, seven. Seven over eight, twelve. Well, an apology from Lee. 13, it clips eight. the net and falls over. It means the gap's five again, as it was at the interval. She's got nothing to lose now, Wang. Subs over. Nine, thirteen. Feeling that this game could be getting beyond her. And I suppose when you think about how things started this year for her, when she uh, lost a few weeks back in the uh, 
Asia Team Championships in the final, because China went on and won, but she lost to uh, Nozomi Ukuhara. Ukuhara in the uh, in her singles match. 10, 13. That's well placed. That's uh, maybe going to give us some some encouragement. Pity, pity for um, Lee's point of view there because she uh, 11, 14. She did really well to keep that rally going, then got herself into a, a strong position. So uh, kind of a similar story to what we see in the first game, really, with Lee with an 11-6 interval lead. A, a bit of a fight back after the interval here from... Uh, Wang Shishian, the gap's down to two as it was at one point in that opening game. And of course, we know that Li Shuwei then stretched away. Will it be the same story regarding that? Or is this the start of a comeback for Wang? Something of a 15 bell. That's that's sloppy. 16, 12. And that's a disappointing shot at this stage of the match. And that's right in the corner from 17, Lee. 12. Fabulous. And now she's four points away from the win. That's in. One of the best shots she's played. Subs over 13, 17. Is it too little, too late, though, from Wang here? Chasing. Chasing the Olympic champion as well. Subs over. <laughs> Nonchalantly done. 18. 13. Oh, now she's showing some skills here. Lee Shui edging towards the finishing 19, line. 13. Oh, well, she played a brilliant winner to finish off the first game. A couple of terrific shots to take it to 19-13 now. Well, that's well played with seeing some good balance. It has to be said both sides of the court now. Sub over 14-19. Working a well there. Yeah, well done. Fifteen nineteen. Just 
stretching her low down on the backhand. Couple of points in a row. Giving her some, oh, a brief flicker of hope at least. Four points in a row for Wang Shishian. But one mistake and it could be match point. One winner and it is match point. Four of them for Li Shui. Over 20 match points, 16. Prolongs things a little bit for a while. Subs over 17 20. Still three match points, though, for Lee. The wins the German Open again. The only other time she won was 2012. And she went on that summer to win gold in London. Is history about to repeat itself for Li Shuwei. Comprehensive victory over Wang Shishian. The qualification for the race to Rio gets a little tighter as well. 21-14, 21-17. 21-14, 21-17. The uh, result really never looked in doubt. There were some uh, good spells at times from Wang, but Lee was a class apart. Und jetzt wollen wir mit der Siegerin reden. Wir gehen noch ein bisschen mehr aufs Feld und wollen wissen um, nach ihrem großen Erfolg. After a big success in London, um, it was not easy for you. You lost your top position, some injuries, but now is it Lee Shiri on her best level again? Um, uh, <laughs> the last uh, the last time the, the results went better was from the German Open. So she's hopefully this time this um, her progress will be even better starting from the German Open. Okay, but there are a lot of good girls on this planet like um, Carina, Carolina Marin or yesterday she beat Nosomi Okuhara. How realistic is the dream of the second gold medal in this year in Rio? Um, not the Aoyun Kwan Jin, the Nega Mong Xiang, the Sisian, the Nega Piao Tun Zan, you Kao Jing Ma. Uh, Shen Zai, Shen Zai, Shen Zai, Shen Zai, um, all, has she, all she has to do is to believe in herself uh, because there are so many good players now out there now. So she just tries her best and then uh, see what happens. Okay, and we will also see what happens. Give a big applause for Li Shuri from China, our champion here in Milan. Well, she says, Germany maybe now, can spur Germany, on again. Two seconds, we will start with the award ceremony here in Mülheim for women's single. Also, gleich geht's los mit der Siegerehrung für das Damen Einzel und dann natürlich auch auf die Ehrenrunde. Und dann brauchen wir sie wieder. Wirklich großes Kompliment, was Sie hier unseren Sportlern für eine Ehre erweisen.
die Begeisterung ist riesig und wir freuen uns natürlich auch, dass Sie so mitgehen hier im Publikum und wir sehen, dass diese Athleten auch hier in Deutschland eine unglaubliche Popularität genießen. Und wir warten nur noch auf den Daumen hoch, dass die Spielerinnen parat sind und wir dann zu unserer Siegerehrung starten können. So, wir kommen dann zur Siegerehrung im Dameneinzel. Ladies and Gentlemen, Prize Ceremony, Yonix German Open 2016, Women Single. Die Siegerehrung wird vorgenommen von Margarete Wiedelmann, stellvertretende Bürgermeisterin der Stadt Mülheim und von Yusaki Hayashida, President Yonix Corporation Limited. The second place, women single Yonex German Open 2016. Wang Sixian from China. German Open 2016 Women's Single. The winner is Li Shuri from China.
So congratulations to uh, Lila, who uh, obviously came through to win that one. Wang Shishian will be hoping that was the scoreline that went her way. Women's doubles next on offer. And uh, maybe a surprise final here, really, with uh, two unseeded pairs making it through to the final, Huang and Tang and Putita and Sapsuri. As you can see from Petito and Sapsuri coming through against the number one seeds in three games yesterday, saved two match points in that as well. The number two seeds knocked out Matsutomo and Takahashi by the Chinese pair. Wang Ya Chong, Tang Jin Hua taking on Putita, Super Jirakun, and Sapsbury Tera Tanakai.